Hey guys, it's Fancy. So lately I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos on how I get my nail tips to stick to my nail trainer. So today I thought I'd show a quick video on how I do it. So what I do is I start out with a really low grit nail file. This one's 100, but you could even use 80. Um, I do not use these buffers right here. They're just not aggressive enough. But so what I do is I go in with my nail file and I remove all of the shine pretty aggressively on this nail. It's not a real client, so it really doesn't matter how careful you are here. But yeah, I just get everything off of the nail bed. So then I remove all of the dust off of that nail and then I go in with my tip. This is obviously a nail tip that fits pretty well on something like this is what you would normally want to use, but for the nail trainer I use an oversized tip. I do like sometimes three or four sizes bigger than what I would need because it's a little bit flatter and you're going to trim off the excess later anyways. So here I don't know if you can see very well, I know they're clear, but that's kind of what you're looking for is all that excess on the side of the nail. I then go in with my buffer and I buff the underside of the nail just where I'm going to be applying the nail glue. I guess you could use a regular file on this, but um, these nail tips are kind of delicate, so I just like to use a buffer. I think it does the job pretty well, um, and I, yeah, I just get all of the shine off of that underside. So this is the nail glue that I typically use. Um, I don't think different brands make a difference on getting the tips to stick to the nail bed on the nail trainer. I've tried different ones. Um, I just, I don't think it matters. So I put about a medium amount of glue on the tip, just the same amount that you normally would to apply it to a human client. And I put that on and I hold it for a good, maybe 10 to 15 seconds. So this is what it looks like after the tip is applied. Um, I think it gives you a better idea of how much bigger that nail tip is um, than the nail bed. It's pretty massive, um, but this is just exactly what you want. And then we're going to go in and we're going to trim it. So I go in, I cut down the length that I want, and then I go in with my scissors and I cut all that excess off on the sides. I do it on both sides and then I'll go in and file and shape it. So now I'm going in with my nail file and I'm fleshing up those sidewalls so that there's nothing extra hanging over. Um, and you can tell, you can see that it's holding on really well. I do brace the other side just in case, but that's just as I would on a client as well. Um, and it has the same amount of strength that it would on a human nail. Um, but yeah, I go in and I'm shaping it. I do blend the nail tip to the nail bed. You don't have to, that's just a personal preference. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not going anywhere. So this is the nail tip fully applied. If this helped any of you guys out, leave a comment, maybe consider subscribing. Everything really helps me out. Um, but until next time, stay fancy.